All right, guys, you know I'm in the middle of the move, so when, when I'm showing scenes at the shop right now, make sure, just apologize for the mess. Um, but I have a, a commission that I think I can sneak in before uh, my before I can uh, actually start moving things, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna start working on that right now. Um, let me just explain what the project is, and we'll tell you what we're gonna do today. All right, so the project is uh, somebody wants a street sign. All right. Uh, that's shaped like a shield. So they have, a, they believe it's three foot wide by seven foot long piece of quarter inch. And they want this logo cut out, raised up, and then they're gonna put lighting behind it so that it's backlit. So that that I don't need the forge for. Uh, and, and quite honestly, they, they asked for it to be hand cut, so I'm a little anxious about that. But well, that's not the part that we're working on right now. This down here, this number, the 290, they want uh, at like an applique, you know, laid on top of <coughs> the, uh, the, the shield shape uh, not cut out so we're gonna f and, and you know ask should we go get these things laser cut or should we forge them because again I like to put a little bit of me I mean this cutting this up on hand it's not enough of me into a project and uh, so we, we decided that we'd let Chandler try to forge these letters so today I'm just gonna work on this this one is a proof of concept he's after after a gothic look so there is extra detail that we might be able to throw in there but just to shape this out, he wants them about an inch tall, uh, or cl as close to an inch tall as possible. Actually, it probably doesn't have to be that tall because he also wants them a little bit uh, raised off the, the platform there. So hopefully we're okay with what my approach is right now. So we have one piece here, this piece here, this may be a separate piece. You know, the whole, pretty complex shapes, but every shape, right here here these are easy and then this is really the only one that's tapered like that uh, you know this ex this character gives you an example of what the time and amount of work is that's going to be involved in that so we're going to create this too we're going to try to and I, yeah, he did want it an inch high but is that's an inch with a little bit of a standoff i i i, I I went with three uh, three quarter because that's what this is here, and this split is three quarter. I can get the you know it's about an inch in this direction, but I, I hope that's high enough for him. Well, we're gonna go with three quarter inch. We'll see what we end up with. So let's uh, I'm gonna get some pieces cut. This is a straight piece, nothing fancy, uh, and then let's start working on this one first. All right, we're gonna start with the easy one first. So I'm just gonna cut this part of the two. It's two and three sixteenths long. That's what we're going to cut. Two and three sixteenths. sure if I just want to cut off a piece or if I want to uh, just work it right off of here. It's just too long to work and if I cut it I'm going to be wasting pieces so let's not do that. Um, unless we want to assume that he likes this and then we can just reuse these same pieces and then what's left create that out. So here, we, you know, we've been practicing calculating stock and all that. This is something that you could do probably with, with a little bit of time. 
But by looking at this two and three sixteenths inch piece, I think I can get that that material out of a piece that big. Upset a little bit and just taper it down maybe a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna cut off piece three and a half. I think three and a half will work. I know it will work. Three. Let's do three inches. I'd rather have a piece with a handle on it, but we'll deal with it. So we'll go three and a three and a <laughs> go three and a quarter. Better too long than too short, eh? Better too long than too short. to do is upset one end of this shoot I don't even have a quench here anymore. So because we gotta be about an inch in width and it actually needs to be quite a ways in that look. So I'm hoping I'm only upsetting the top. I really wish I could yeah, I did well there. I really wish I had quenched the bottom a little bit. And again, one of these has to say three eight or three quarters to represent height. All right, or something close to it. But uh, again, I'm trying to upset to get that almost inch look. But I need quite a bit of it. Maybe I didn't cut enough steel. I don't know. We're gonna find out. There, I was trying to put one in. It's hard to hold. This is the five or the three quarter side. Alright, so that should give us. Oh, yeah, we're plenty wide enough now. Alright, let me go ahead and start, start working on that angle a little. See if we can get that brought down. Kind of canted a little. Alright, so this is my three-quarter inch height. I'm just trying to put a little bit of a cant on this to bring that out. And tongs. I'm not sure the best way to do that. Just a minute short. But this needs to be at an angle. A, a, de a good angle too. A pretty big angle. I'm not doing something like this. I'll help it out a little bit. So again, I'm trying to put about that much of an angle on there. All right. So I welded a handle on this thing so I can get some decent, a decent hold on it. Hopefully we can just. Set it back. Get that angle that we're at. Too round for me. 
getting a little blacksmith upsetting block on. That should help quite a bit. trying to go for and I'd say we did okay I think we did okay all right so we got to we got to draw that out and have just a just a little bit of a camp to it not camp but curve see what we do with that all right now let's see what we can do there's something in my forge for me moving it around and stuff glassy I don't know what it is maybe it's all right, we don't want to round that top. We want to start bringing it down, hand around. We probably want it flat now anyway. I just want to see the shape, the curve. Except for what? Channel cut it the wrong way. Sometimes I ask myself, really? Really? I'm trying to get used to this butcher block. And the only reason I brush to myself is because I don't want stuff going to the camera. Alright, so let's put her back the right way. a little bit. Lost a little bit there. Damn, you know Sam. I hope we don't lose that. I'm hoping I can get some of that back by upsetting. Do, 
do 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 a little more, a little more. So this here needs to be a bit of a sweep. Just something to think about. Just something to think about. Just checking for length. I think we're gonna be okay at that point. We got, some, I don't know whether to try to fix that on the grinder. We got a little bit of work to do there. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> we'll heat her up, get it cleaned up <clears throat> from hammer marks. Try to get that curve in there. Let's see what it looks like then. some of these hand marks out. In that process, if I can do that and put that curve in at the same time, all the more to me, for me, against me. Well, let's see what we got going on here. Probably too curved now. It isn't horrible. A little too steep of a point out there. A little too narrow. Do, 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 do. The curve is good. I just wonder if maybe if I should try to bring that back a little bit just to pick up a little more width. I'll just do it. I hate to ruin the perfect curve that I have, but. I would, I would, I'd like to pick up a little more width if I can. This is going to be tricky. I'm going to come back with the point a little. Because it's a little too shallow anyway. point back a little. Like I said, it's too shallow of an angle anyway. Steel's got to go somewhere. Hopefully it goes in width. We did anything at all with this. Oh yeah, we're still too steep. But maybe we'll deal with that on the grinder. Alright, I like it. Let me just leave it just like that. Uh, we'll move on to the next piece. Taking this other piece, uh, the piece we cut first, and just brought it up so it's to, to let it go through a couple of you know building up scale and looking like it's been in the forge because I'm not sure what the finish is gonna be on this, so I don't want it to look unabused in any way so and I'm not I'm not trying to put hammer marks on it per se but I don't want it to look you know just I want it to blend in so really not wanting 
any hammer marks it's there. I don't want you to turn around anyway. But these letters will look forged because they are, unless I grind them all the way down and then, then we'll see. But. softness, irregular softness on the edges. And I'll just do this one more time. I'll just let it come up nice yellow so there's lots of scale. Brush it off and, and it should look just like that other piece. Alright, so where are we at? We got this piece cut. Dry off some of the water here. Alright, which will go right there perfectly. And then this piece just got forged and that goes right there perfectly. Covers up exactly what that mark is. I took and uh, I just I just trimmed that end off with the grinder, um, just to make sure everything fits well. So what I'm like, what I'd like to do now is this piece here looks like about three sixteenths. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, you know, this is three quarter inch high. Hopefully, we maintained our height, right? Um, I don't know. If, let me check if I have any inch. Uh, I can have any three quarter by six by three sixteenths. I'm almost certain I don't have any of that, but I do have some inch by three sixteenths. Let me see if I can find something that can use right here. Is that? Yeah. So the question is, if I squash that down, if I squash that down, um, it'll get fatter. In reality, it's just an even line. So maybe I just cut that son of a pup right off, you know what I mean? Cut it off. It's not, it's kind of cheating. That's almost like stack removal. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Oh my gosh, don't slam me. Um, because I could flatten it down and then stretch it back out, but I think for the sake of for time and budget, I'll just trim that sucker right off. All right, let me do it, I'll be back. All right, so I trimmed that off just a little big because I will squish it a little bit uh, and, uh, and I wouldn't mind a little extra thickness just for the sake of uh, being able to grind a little if we need to. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just squish that down just, just a, 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 a sixteenth or so. Um, and then we'll put that curve in, hopefully be able to match that. That piece, cut her off, we'll be on our way. I'm hoping this will be the easiest. Oh, I just jinxed myself, didn't I? I'm hoping the, this will be the easiest one, except for the straight cut anyway. Alright, I doubt this is going to be some crazy challenge. But, I've said that before. Sure. She, oh, a little heat won't hurt. Let me grab this printer part. See if you look at the printed part, this where am I? This curve is, you know, it's just a subtle, subtle curve, right? I mean it's not subtle, but it's smooth. It's a smooth curve. This one, if you take a look, he's got a straight section and then see how that kind of got exaggerated? I don't think he wants that. I think he wants a smooth curve. So we're going to do it as a smooth curve and hey, that's what proof of concepts and prototypes are for, I guess. So we're just going to do a, a simple smooth curve. From, you know, there's a good example where I didn't have this as hot as this and now it's curving back here. But in reality, that may not be such a horrible thing. may not be such a horrible thing. I'd be damned if that isn't almost right where I want it to be.
I'll be damned if that ain't. I'd say damn exact. I like it. This is damn. You guys want to see? I gotta be careful because I, I do have an extra copy of this, but I don't want to burn my paper too much. So that. Just a pair more. Look at it from this perspective. We just gotta close up a hair more. There we go. I think I'm okay with that, I really do. I think I am. I think we can make that work. Let me pull it out. All right, let's see where we stand. We got this piece here. Goes down in there. We got this piece here. It goes right there. And we got this piece here. It goes right there. Not perfect. It is a little hair here lower, but I like it. I think it does the trick. Now we got, this is what I think is going to be the hardest part. I'm not exactly sure. That, oops, sorry. This I'll just weld one of these pieces on, all right? So I'm not concerned about that. This piece here, what are we gonna use to make that happen? Because if we try to do a perpendicular thickness, we are a little narrower than three quarters. And it's, it gets, it's just still, it's such a complex shape, but I think I can get it out of three quarters. Nothing is wider than three quarters. So we take a piece of three quarter. And well, let's look at this printout again. All right, what's going on there? See his printout, I don't know if you can see it or not. But it, yeah, it's, it's got this cup. It's just got that distinct point. It won't, won't, you know what I mean? That, that won't, won't. That's what we're after. So, and then a definite. Um, angle there and then this narrow piece so if we were to project that narrow piece out if we were to project it out to this long all right that would give us our womp at the top without a whole lot of effort and then we just put a curve on this and cut the piece off yeah I think that's all we're gonna do is just curve a piece of three-quarter and then we'll just cut the, the angles you want rather than forge them in I got a piece of three quarter, you know, left over from a forging or a twisting accident where I had the heat uneven. But there's there's enough steel right here to make that piece that we're after, so we're going to use that. All right. So again, I don't think you want to lose any thickness. You just need that curve, and what I thought was going to be the hardest part might end up being the easiest one to make. You just need that curve. That. Burning my paper, I think that's about it. I'm kind of disappointed. I thought for sure that would be a little harder than that, but I think that's it. We're just going to cut it, cut it at the end as we want. I know it might sound like cheating, but there's a uh, A little bit more. There's when authentic is what they're after, then the old school is what I give them. When they just when they want it to look, look when automatic is the look. You know what I mean? I'm not violating any. Yeah, I can see everything happening right there. All right, let me cut her up. Well, let's see how we did. That piece down there, this piece right there, that piece right there, this piece right there, and this piece right there. Not too snappy at all. Not too snappy at all. Yeah, I like it. 
I think he will too. I hope he will anyway. So now I need to figure out the sequence of welding this because I need to clean. Like if I weld this inside here, which maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave that clean. I'll try to only weld the outsides. Um, yeah, I can do that. Only weld the outside so I can grind those things off. We'll, we'll uh, weld here to hide outsides and tops. So let me get some bevels in. Uh, let's see what we can do about throwing a tack in there and hope everything stays where it belongs. And that's just hope. stickler so I kind of want to be as careful as I can be I think you prick that wire jumping line right on my freaking finger but it's always good to give them something to complain about I learned that on a construction project once like the electricians would leave covers off the off of the um, electrical outlets just so that there was something to find just so there was something to find by the client now I do have a little bit of a nose up here but I'm going to take care of that with the grinder I just like I, I wanted I didn't want that that nose projecting too much past his line so I'm okay with that everything looks Decent, let me weld her up and clean her up. Alrighty, there you have it. Not too shinabby. Uh, yeah, I can take these hammer marks out, but I, I figured in, in case he wants that kind of look, we'll uh, give it to him like that, and then if he doesn't like it, we can take it out. Uh, where are you? I'm down here. And just like that, perfect. Now I put a one inch standoff on there. He's sinking it into uh, a quarter inch plate. So I figure that uh, three-quarter inch standoff by the time I plug weld that or a little, a little bit more. That looks really, really good from the top. Let me get some view straight down. Fish. Not bad. Not bad at all. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, shit. Got the wrong hat on. Oh, Got the wrong hat on. There you go. Glasses off. I look sexier without my glasses. And there you have it. Old school forge, gothic forging, and uh, now old school 
but uh, got the job done, and it looks really sharp. I like that point. Looks cool. I right, hope you enjoyed it. Something, something different. Just another one of my projects. Hopefully he'll like it, and I got the rest of the whole project. Well, hopefully he likes it, and I'll be able to forge the other two numbers for him. Uh, in addition to cutting that piece out, no, I'll, I'll bring you along when I do. Ciao. Well, sorry to come back on you like that, but uh, contact the client, but I haven't heard back from him yet, so I went ahead and made the other letters because I have such confidence in myself. So there's the two. See, I'll get you a shot a little higher. Get these guys to stand up, hold them. I ignore the one inch bar there, but. Perfect. Almost perfect. Still warm. Very pleased. I think I'm very pleased with them. Hopefully, he likes them now that they're done. Holy crap. All right, now I'm out of here, ciao. If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining, uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right-hand side of the screen called Support, and it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video, and that'll help me make some more, I guarantee. Thanks for your support, as always.